What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about night photography. Um, how you're going to edit, what you're going to need, and everything you kind of need to know to get started. So let's do this. Alright, so before we get too far into it, I just want to show you what I use, or specifically the lens I use uh, for shooting night photography. Um, so this guy right here is what I've been using recently. Um, this is a Samyang 85mm 1.4. And I'll actually uh, throw up some images I took the other day um, that I took with uh, my girlfriend and uh, her brother Max. So we'll throw those up. The 1.4 is perfect for low light because it lets all that light in that you really need. I have my ISO at 250. Um, so it didn't get too blurry. I tried to keep it as low as possible so I could push all those shadows out. Um, and then I had my shutter speed at 1 over 60, I believe. So yeah, let's dive into it, take a look at some of the pictures I took, try to edit some out, and uh, let's get into it. Alright, so we're taking a look at some of the pictures I took the other day. Um, most of these I added out already, so we're just going to take a look at this one specifically. Took away everything I did to it, so I'm just going to start start fresh, and this is going to be kind of where we want to end up. Um, I think I boosted the shadows up a little bit too much on this one, but I still like the, the look of it, so yeah, we're going to keep it around that. Okay, so for this one, uh, first thing I want to do right off the bat is boost my shadows and my blacks up. It's going to get my shadows up and uh, going to give us a lot more detail back here, especially on the face there. Uh, the whites I always like to push up a little bit, because dealing with that neon, it's, it kind of gives it a cool aesthetic. Um, the exposure, I'm pretty happy with where it's at. Contrast, I'm going to bring down a little bit uh, just for now, and then I'll play with it later. Um, give it a bit of clarity. Um, probably around 25 looks good. That's going to get all those nice sharp strands of hair and it's going to it's going to make it it's really cool. Uh, for the tone curve, I like to bring up my blacks a little bit and then just kind of give this a little oh, that was a bit too far, but a little bit of an arch. And that's going to get rid of some of those shadows while still kind of keeping that that tone that I want. Um for the luminance, I just want to turn up uh, that blue a little bit and the orange. Yeah, that looks good. Um, all right, so let's go back up to uh, your tone panel. Uh, the exposure, I'm still pretty happy with the, the contrast. I'm going to give it a little bit more uh, shadows. I'm going to bring down a little bit um, black down a little, oh, too far. So I'm good with that. Highlights bring up a little bit. Um, saturation I'm happy with. Everything looks good there. And I'm going to go to the um, marker tool. I'm just going to select his face. Um, I just want to make sure I have the correct skin tone for this. Alright, can move that a little bit further. Alright, that looks good. Uh, exposure looks good. Saturation, I'm going to saturate it a little bit more. Clarity up a little bit. Whites. Looks good there. Shadows, I'm going to come down a little bit because right there on the side it looks a little bit unrealistic there. So that looks good right there. Highlights. Alright. I'm going to take my. I'm going to bring the exposure down a little bit, just because I think it's a little bit over. Um, but other than that, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. So, uh, so let's take a little look before and after. Uh, so that's what we're working with. Or that's what we were working with. That's our outcome. So I think, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I think it looks a lot better. This is something that I'll probably end up posting. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys liked the video, definitely please leave a like. That'd be great. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.